welcome to engineering visualization channel so today we are going to problem on parabola draw a parabola when the distance between its focus and directories is 50 mm also draw a tangent and normal 0.70 mm from the directories so first i am drawing an axis okay and the parabola and this is the fixed point f focal point and this is v perpendicular to the axis we are drawing the directories so Okay, this is the directrix f is the focus and this is our parabola so in the parabola so here the distance given between directories and focus it is 50 mm okay so in parabola e is equal to 1 okay eccentricity is 1 so eccentricity is 1 means so vf by vc so is equal to 1 so vf exactly equal to vc okay this is what we get having the same equivalence vf and vc will be having same length that is 25 25 mm only okay now first we will be drawing one horizontal line of any length okay so perpendicular to it draw one line or vertical line so this vertical line we called as a directrix i'll be writing a b and this is c point okay now we have to take a distance of 50 mm okay directrix the distance of focus and and the directrix it is 50 mm so so draw you have to mark here 50 mm means 5 centimeter so this is our f point okay I'll, now i'll divide this uh, into five parts uh, exactly at the midpoint midpoint means two and a half 25 mm or 2.5 centimeter mark the v point okay now at the v point so i'll show the dimension first dimension of 50 mm okay Now at the point V, draw one vertical line, some length, okay. Now take compass, measure the length of VF and draw an arc until it cut that small vertical line. Measure the length of VF and draw an arc until it cuts the small vertical line. now connect c and that cut it point so draw one line passing through that okay now from the point v we'll be we'll be making the some four equal parts okay four equal parts so take some distance from the compass and cut four arcs here okay so now where we have cutted the arc points we can name it 1 2 3 4 now at the 1 2 3 4 so we have to draw the vertical lines until it touch that uh, line and vertically downward also draw the same thing okay now you can mention this as one dash two dash three dash and four dash now we have to measure the distance of one and one dash first measure the distance of one and one dash okay now keep at the focal point focus point and cut the arc on that above and below similarly from f2 to it is exactly, exactly the same length so we'll be cutting above and below here because f point lies the same now from 3 to 3 dash measure it keep at the f point and cut an arc above and below okay, again measure 4 4 dash okay 
keep at the point F. You have to keep at the point F and cut an arc above and below. Okay. Now we have cut the we got the cut points here. Now we have to join all, the, all these points to get the parabola here. So try to connect with the smooth curve here. Don't draw the straight line. Okay. Okay, so parabola it is uh, constructed. You can mention the naming here P dash P1 and P1 dash P2 dash and P2 dash. Okay, P3 P3 dash P4 and P4 dash. Okay, now we have to construct the tangent and normal as per the question. Okay, you can see the question draw a tangent and normal at a point 70 mm from the directrix. So, what we have to do? So, take the scale roller scale. So, take 70 mm that is 7 centimeter and vertically move upward like this. Okay, exactly where it is uh, touching the parabola, just mark a point. So that point you can mention that as a E here. You can show the dis uh, distance, okay, 70 mm. Okay, now connect F point, F point, F and E with the straight line. Okay, now exactly perpendicular to this, we have to draw one mark 90 degree. Okay. And draw a line exactly touching the directrix. Okay. So, from this directrix, uh, the intersection point to the E point, here we will be drawing the tangent okay this is our tangent will mention t t dash exactly perpendicular to it so we will be drawing the normal here you can subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications and share to maximum students so that they can be benefited now mark 90 degree point either upward or downward you can mark and draw one line okay if the space is not there you can mark it downward only no problem So now draw one exactly perpendicular line. So this normal will be exactly 90 degree to the tangent here. Thank you all. Thank you for watching the video.